I think it was, um, oh, let's think, one, seven, nine, oh, come on! How did Samantha even come up with that? Stashing away my sweets in our safe! Oh, I'll show her! I'll open it and... Sam, stop! What now? Is that Samantha's safe? Yes, but there's... If Samantha puts something in her safe, you can't touch it! That's the rule! And if I put something in a safe, she won't touch it either? Of course. Oh, I like that. Susie, will you please help me make my own safe for coins? For coins? Yes, Samantha keeps pinching my coins that I'm saving for candy. Huh, well, it'll only be fair. I think I have some cardboard left. Let me check. <laughs> quick, quick, I need... Oh, hey there. Sue and I are going to make a safe. And my coins will be safe inside! It won't just be safe, it'll be interesting too! Interesting? How? We'll make a piggy bank that will swallow the coins! Swallow? Well, as long as it doesn't digest them, then I can get it back! So what do I do? Beat out circles! Make decorations! Chop some sticks! <laughs> Sammy, calm down. Let me think. Oh, yes, you can cut the sticks since you're such a pro. No problem, though. All right, and I'll start with the cardboard. As usual, we'll make some base details first. I'll need a few parts with holes. Remember to be careful with the cutter. And the cut must be precise. Take your time. Like this. I'll glue these three parts together. <laughs> I believe I've become an expert when it comes to hot glue. Of course, always use caution. And when cutting sticks, too! I didn't even cut myself. That's great! Are really, you making a frame? No, Sammy. It's a future mouth for your coin-hungry bank! Oh, carry on! I'm intrigued. Right on! There will be a small hatch in the bottom. Cool! This tiny door works great! Now I'll put together a frame for the bank. I'll make it out of these rectangular parts. It's very simple. I just need to remember to leave some space on each side. Let's see if it fits. <gasps> Looks good! No need to glue this. It'll be a moving part. But now, it'll help us to understand where to glue these parts. Very careful. I don't want to glue everything together. Just attach these narrow strips to the wall. The first batch of sticks is ready! Just in time, thank you! You're welcome. These little sticks will go on top of the moving part, right here on the sides. One. And two. And also onto these parts. Double check. Yep. Everything fits perfectly. Now... And the rest! You're so fast, Sammy. I'll need these really soon, in a few moments. I'll just glue the back wall. And I… And you will bring me a piece of twine. Yes, ma'am. Like this? Exactly like this. Let's put together the moving mechanism. Securely wrap the thread around the stick. Glue the stick to the moving part. Pass the thread through this part that was made by Sammy. I did it myself because there was no need for hot glue, just this wood glue! Well, I'll still need hot glue because we need this part to be securely attached to the cardboard. One circle, two circles, and an awl! Uh, what? We need to make another part out of circles with a hole in the middle. Guys, this awl is very sharp. Be careful with it. I'll put three circles together on the awl. Two big ones and one smaller one. Oh, how did you know that's the glue I needed? I read your mind. Huh? <laughs> oh, guys, do you think Sam can read minds? You never know what slimes can do. I might have missed something. But I do know what step is next. I'll insert a skewer into this part that we made. And secure it with glue. Like this. I'll also need a similar part but bigger. And a cube made out of cardboard squares. This part with a small stick and a small circle. What are they for? Oh, what about reading my mind? You know, the conditions aren't the same. Magnetic storms. <laughs> I see. I'll put together a revolving mechanism out of these parts. These parts made of small circles will go here. And the parts made of larger circles and the cube will go there. Awesome! Should the thread just 
dangle like this? Right, Sammy. We'll attach it to this small stick. Let's tighten it. And secure it with glue, just to be safe. And cut off the excess. That magnetic storm is gone, and I see... I see you need rubber bands! You're right, Sammy. Two rubber bands will go inside. I'll use tweezers to expand them and avoid breaking something. Let's see. Oh, yes! It works! Excellent! <laughs> And there will be one band outside here. Don't forget this part! I won't, of course! It's a handle to make the rotating more convenient. I'll secure it with glue. And check! <sighs> Good job! <sighs> Something's missing, though. One more wall on the bottom? Those two, but wait right here! I'll be back! Okay, meanwhile, I'll attach these parts. That's it! Your saving bank is ready, Sammy! You can't deliver the finished work without my decorations! Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Sam. I've prepared everything. Move. Okay, th this one here, and... Uh, yep. Oh, oh, oh! That one, too! Uh, yes! <laughs> Done. That's a real coin eater! Coin eater? Oh, I like that. Come on! Let me put my coins inside! Quick! Yes, and if you need them yourself, you can take them out through this hatch here. But shh, don't tell Samantha. I won't. Do you guys want a bank like this for yourselves? Give a thumbs up and go make it. Hi, guys. Are you ready for a new awesome craft? As you can see, I've already colored all the pieces. Wow, so we are making a time machine. No, we're going to make a vending machine for your chocolate coins. Why are you so obsessed with time machines? Thanks to this transparent piece, we'll see the chocolate coins rolling down. Now, let's attach this plastic piece with the help of hot glue. Guys, ask an adult to help you at this stage. So, admit it. A time machine is a very useful everyday device. Actually, I wouldn't mind having my own personal time machine. You can go back in time to finish all the things you plan to do, for example. Or you can jump into the future to finish the craft quickly. I never have enough time to complete my to-do list. Wow, cool! Well, no wonder. Here it is. I brought it so you don't forget anything. Thanks, Sammy. Yeah, my day would be super productive if I had a time machine. Ugh, Susie, I definitely find a better way to use my personal time machine. Oh, why don't you like my idea? I think it's a rather effective time management method. You know, going back in time to wash dishes doesn't sound all that exciting. I'd go back in time to eat Nutella forever! <laughs> Wait, how are you gonna eat Nutella forever? Just imagine, you finish a jar of Nutella, go back a few minutes, and the jar's full again! Guys, give a thumbs up if you want to eat Nutella forever, too. Seriously, though, time travel requires careful preparation. Oh, shoot, everyone says that. What's so difficult? Get in and go. Um, Sam, is time traveling as simple for you as brushing your teeth? Guys, we made the upper barrier on our little door. We need a coin to make the lower one. By the way, it would be fun jumping into the future where your teeth are already brushed every morning. So you can make them dirty with chocolate coins again. Also with Oreo, Nutella, ice cream, waffles. Uh, I'm afraid this list is endless. Marshmallows! Chocolate flakes! Honey flakes! With the help of this moving piece, the chocolate coins will fall into the machine. It'll look like this. Cool, right? 
spaghetti, cheese balls, crackers. Hey, hey, please stop. Still, I just love all kinds of treats. The door for our vending machine will work thanks to these rubber bands. Wow, looks like a time portal. Huh, have you already been inside the time portal, Sammy? And if you have, why didn't you take me with you? You don't need to see a time portal to understand what it looks like. You can just watch movies, like I do. Ah, well, you're a real professional at that. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> this is how the door will work. It'll push the chocolate coins straight into the machine. Sue, I didn't know you weren't a fishing. What are you talking about, Sammy? I'm too obsessed with fashion, you know? I simply don't have time for fishing. I need this string for the craft. With the help of this string, we'll be able to move the door we've just made. It's actually fun to cast a fishing rod, sit on a stone, enjoy the sunset. Yep, you don't even notice the time fly by. <laughs> Let's remove the extra part of the stick and fix the construction with glue. Our mechanism for the coin's descent is ready. All right, while Sam's dreaming of fishing, we're going to make the body of our vending machine. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button not to miss new videos. Sammy, have you made the piece I asked? Everything is calm. You can hear the waves and then you notice the bobber moving. Huh, I guess Sam's gonna have a new hobby soon. <laughs> Ugh, Sue, can you imagine it? I was daydreaming and didn't notice the time go by. Well, think of it as time traveling. Guys, Sammy made a great handle for our machine. Right. Let's see. And I'll place this here. There you go. The mechanism we're making now will push the chocolate coins into the machine. It's so strange. Sometimes you don't notice the hours fly by and sometimes minutes can seem awfully long. Yeah, right. It depends on what you're doing. For example, now that we're crafting, I don't even know how much time has passed. It's the same when you're reading Marvel comics. <laughs> you just open the book and bam! You're at the last page in no time. That's why it's so cool to have hobbies. Mine are crafting and fashion, but I'm always open to something new. Even fishing at sunset would be fun. Now we need to glue this piece to the body of the machine. So, shall we make a time machine next time? I have some design ideas. Well, design is not quite enough for time traveling. Carefully cut the extra part. Guys, look, if I pull this string, the mechanism's activated. Perfect. Why do you doubt we can make the greatest time machine ever? Sammy, we haven't even finished this craft yet. First of all, you need to create a detailed blueprint of the time machine. A detailed blueprint? Easy peasy. <laughs> we made the base of our machine. Now we can move to the next step. Guys, now we're going to make a lever that will activate our machine. Ask an adult to help you at this stage of the craft. Well, Sammy, are you convinced now that even making a blueprint of a time machine is very difficult? Do you underestimate me as usual. I created the blueprint and considered every detail. Wow, so quick? So how are we gonna travel in time? It's really simple and genius. <laughs> Sounds promising. By the way, we're making a base for the lever that will activate our machine. So Sammy, tell me your simple and genius plan. Right. <clears throat> we'll take a lot of waffles. Cover them with Nutella. Whoa, are you sure we're talking about time traveling? Let me finish. <gasps> we'll cover them with Nutella. Then, this is important, we'll put a camera next to the plate. Oh, wait, Sam, you're confusing me. Are we gonna get to the actual time machine construction? Hear me out, Susie. <sighs> we'll put a camera to see where all the waffles disappear so fast. <sighs> Guys, we need to glue the lever to the body of our machine. Insert the lever into the thread and this opening and glue its base. So, did you memorize the plan? This is how we'll figure out the time travel technique and we'll build our time machine based on that. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but waffles don't travel in time. Ugh, what do you mean they don't? So why every time I start eating waffles is there a whole plate full of them and a second 
way to deflate empty! Mm, it's simple. You like waffles so much that you don't notice finishing the whole plate. I don't know. It's not convincing. I think you're not paying enough attention. <sighs> Fine. Anyway, you need to work on your plan some more. Our vending machine is ready! Sue, how about adding some more decor? Yes, yeah, Sam, you're right. Ta-da! Shall we add more golden elements? There. And don't forget chocolate coins! Sure, Sam. We're making all this for them, after all. It's time to fill the machine with chocolate coins! Oh, that's my favorite part! Sam, now all your chocolate coins will be stored in our cool vending machine! Guys, our machine is ready! Give a thumbs up and hit the bell button if you liked making this craft with us! Well, Sammy, are you ready to get the first coin out of our vending machine? I am! Here we go! I hope the chocolate will help you generate ideas for the time machine project. Oh yeah! So we're gonna build the most powerful time machine ever! Also, chocolate will help me design stylish outfits. <laughs> I need one more coin. Here you are. Yummy! 